What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are playing a reanimator deck by a longtime subscriber and supporter of the stream, Two Way X, otherwise known as To Know. W E I is German for No. And uh, this is a reanimator deck they sent me. And uh, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's a lot to go over. We have Cathartic Reunion and Thrill, and one more Tormenting Voice. So we have nine ways to put things in the yard and to find other things. Stitcher Supplier and Vulture are uh, also ways to mill yourself. And you want to get Unburial Rights or Blood for Bones. And uh, the thing we want to do here is you want to reanimate a Scholar of the Lost Trove to then cast Rise of the Dark Realms. <laughs> Just put all creature cards from all graves onto the battlefield under your control. And uh, then you'll get Mask Worms, Greater Hoof Behemoth, Perforos, and uh, Perforos gives your creatures haste. So when you get that guy back from the graveyard, if you don't get Crater Hoof, you still have haste with all the other creatures. And uh, <laughs> there was no sideboard, interestingly enough. But um, I. Uh, yeah, I don't know, this deck's kind of wild. I have no idea what to make of it. Um, let me see if there was a sideboard added. All right, so I just found an updated version and uh, Thank you. not much just changed. Four Stitchers, four Gorging, one more Tormenting Voice. Looks like no Blood for Bones. Which kind of makes sense because it's really hard. Like, you only have four creatures that are going to be in play. Uh, or, or eight, rather. But... We'll see. Hold on, let me just make sure... I mean, one of the problems is definitely the graveyard hate, right? And that's what that's what they mention. Um, so, uh, two crater hoof, four scholar, four four massacre worm. So one more tormenting voice, one more massacre worm, and I think they took out the blood for bones, which is unfortunate, only because. That's one more mythic I have to create. And we'll say one more torrenting voice. And let's make sure that's correct. Uh, you got three blood crypts, four blood crypts, four dragon skull summits. No temple, which I kind of agree with. No triomes. Okay. So, four Dragon Skull Summits, so one Fabled Passage, three Godless Shrines, four Isolated Chapels, one Mountain, got it, two Towers, one Plains, and one Swamp, and three Sacred Foundry. What is the white mana for? Am I missing something? Uh, we did not do the one chip challenge. Oh, the for the unburial rights. That's correct. Okay, because I was like, wait, what is the white for? It's for unburial rights. So let's craft that last myth ma massacre worm. The reason they didn't have a sideboard was because they were playing best of one, um, which I think is probably fine for us to jump into. Um, it's not a tier. It's not a tier one deck by far. It falls to graveyard hate. That's why I play best of one since post war. There's gonna be void the uh, ley lines of the void and cages and crypts. Uh, so consider doing that too. Okay. Okay. Let's. 
Well, hold on. Cancel every knot. Okay, cool. All right, so let's give it a go in the best of one, and we'll see what we can do. Historic. Is Historic rank best of one? Uh, I actually had two teeth that I was going to check out, and they ended up both selling. Traditional is best. Traditional best of three. And Badger is talking about Megalodon teeth. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you, my dude. Let's see what's happening. Where's Mike? Uh, he is asleep because he has a job. Just a rest day, so I'm trying to rest. That's a good, that's a good call. That is a, uh, that's a solid decision for a rest day. Um, thrill seems good. Wow, discard at least two of these. Snap, keep that. Only been to the gym once today. <laughs> Amateur hour. Also, I picked up all of these uh, extended arts. Badger, how, how often, how frequently do you go to the gym on a daily basis? So we can still cast on barrier rights from the... Oh, this is an instant. Yeah, we can just wait. Three times a day? Oh my god. Let's actually pitch Crater Hoof because we can actually cast Mask Worm. Ooh, Vulture, huh? Ooh, and a tormenting voice. That was, pretty, that was a pretty bad hit, but we did get Perforos and Crater Hoof. Perforos not really a creature, though, unfortunately. Wow, two, two Sigil Sword things. That's something right there. Well, that's not ideal. Gotta make those gains somehow, buddy. Maybe so, but that seems excessive. He's a maniac. Um. This is a lot of lands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. This is an excessive amount of lands. I mean, this is still a good amount of damage. I just ordered the Toxic Dealers box top for Bell Masters. I'm really happy to see Richard Kane Ferguson on art on cards again. I love the Ultimate Masters box toppers, or the Double Masters, but I just wish they came in. Actually, no, you're, those did come in non foil. Thanks. Yes, I also got the Toxic Dealers for my cube. Skofasco and T Ravis, thank you guys so much for the resubs. Really appreciate it, guys. Cathartic Reunianos. Um. Oh, they're just gonna concede. Okay. Fascinating. Do we have four rise? Only three, huh?
How much land do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, 23 lands? Interesting. So this actually this gives other creatures haste. Crater Hoof does not. For some reason, I thought Crater Hoof did, but he does, he does not. I don't think I want to change anything yet. So. I, I would consider running the full full four of Liliana of the Dark Realms or Dark Realms Dark Realms Lady. I look I don't know what the card's called, I'll be honest. I'll figure it out right now. Rise of the Dark Realms. Um, two cathartic reunions is super nice. Pitch, pitch. Oh yeah, we're keeping this for sure. Look at that quick sack. Oh boy, this is exciting. Huh. Oh boy, Bilbo Baggins. Good old Daryl of the Dark Realms. <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, I don't want to get censored here. I'm only going to pitch one. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if we can pitch both. Sure. Actually, is this legendary? Yeah, we can get rid of one of those. Oh my god, they're going to counter this? That's fucking brutal. That's what we were afraid of, but... Ooh, Shark Typhoon for a zero to hit a land? Seems good. Oh, good old Gorge and Vulch. Come on, let me hit a rise. Two, three, four. No rise. That's unfortunate. We did hit a Cathartic Reunion and a Tormenting Voice. Kind of a bummer. Sure. Don't actually care about that. Interesting. So unfortunately, we can't actually get back Scholar because the only thing we can cast... I guess we can get back Scholar cast on Burial Rites on Massacre Room, and that's a lot of pressure, but it's not what we're really here for. So I'm just going to end the turn. <laughs> you got it. Your favorite and mine. What is this ugly thing? Okay. Okay, like it, like it. I still have much to learn.
Give me that bird. <laughs> Come on, hit a rise. God, still no rises. That's wild, dude. This is why I think you just need the four rises. Like, you can either just discard them or... There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who can finish thoughts. And, uh... Okay, so I think we're going to win bear rights for five. Let's hit a cathartic reunion. There's a rise. Nine mana, huh? Mini golf was invented for the ladies of St. Andrew's Golf Club in the 1860s because it was considered inappropriate for women to swing golf clubs up past their shoulders. Holy shit, man. Dude, the patriarchy is fucking wild. A judge in Oklahoma. Second fact of the day: a balloon's pop. You got it. We have not had a rise yet. That is wild, dude. A balloon's pop is caused by the rubber shrinking faster than the speed of sound. I think I knew that, but it's still—it's one of those things where you don't remember, so it's kind of funny to hear. And you're like, "Oh wow, that's amazing." Okay, still no rise. <laughs> a judge in Oklahoma has ruled the forcing someone to listen to Baby Shark on repeat is inhumane. It's true. Am I crazy to think this deck needs Dream Trawlers? Yes. We could actually never cast a Dream Trawler in this deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. If we hit a land, we can actually double in Barrel Rights, which is pretty solid. Okay, that's not a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not casting Scholar right, but like <laughs> the point is those creatures all facilitate our combo victory, whereas like Whereas Dream Trawler doesn't really do much. I mean Can they just not have... 
Come on, one time. Oh my god, this is insane. How have we not hit a second Dark Realms? I mean, this just seems like... Okay. I mean, we have literally 15 cards in our deck. We have. The discard outlet is definitely a compelling, uh, compelling argument. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six. To... See, the sad thing is if they kept up this Phyrexian Tower instead, we'd actually be in good shape here. But, <laughs> they did not. Next turn we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. Alright. Well, hopefully they don't hit a counter spell. That's all we need. I'm actually gonna block here. I think I think the odds of them not having a counter spell is pretty low. I mean, if you got it, you got it. I don't know why it's taking this long, though. Thank you. Who cares? What up, my dude? Welcome back. Thanks so much for the resub. Wow, that's amazing. Well, don't don't know why it took you twenty minutes, but all right. Yeah, I think we want one more rise. Yep. You know, I'll be honest with you. It pains me to have to craft one more rise. But that's what you gotta do. Okay. So, for Gorging Torment. I almost want to cut one land because it feels like we have a lot of mana. But also, like, we have a lot of, like, we have ten cards that, that dig us deeper. Let's cut one Isolated. Actually... Yeah, it's fine. One failed passage could be fine. Who cares? I definitely wondered where you went, buddy. I was like, man, I haven't heard from Who Cares in a while. And then I saw you coming on YouTube recently, and I was like, oh, he's back. But, on the bright side, glad you're still working. 
Because during a pandemic, you never know. Um, yeah, see, the thrill makes this keepable. So does the gorging vulture. I'll keep it. Sure. We probably could have left the fa fabled passage, I guess. Here we go. Oh, this is actually... This might be a wild matchup for... Wow, this is a lot of mask worms. Actually uncomfortable with how many mask worms this is. Oh boy, this is going to be a bloodbath. You know, given that we can draw the cards we need for the mask worms. Let's hold on to that. Wow. Not hitting a land there is pretty rough, but what can you do? We'll get Swamp. So now we have three cards we want to pitch. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Yep, four, five, seven, and ten. I don't I don't think there's anything we can actually draw. Oh my god. Insult to injury, dude. Maybe the maybe taking out one land was uh Yeah, we're just dead, right? We take four, yeah, we're just dead. Okay, that did not go as planned. One of the things about decks like this is that you have to actually draw the cards you want in a very, very specific order. Man, I was real excited about the number of mask arms we had, and then it turns out I should not have been. I learned to play Among Us, by the way. Is there much to learn? Um, okay, this seems fine. Man, Frexian Tower is also pretty good with a Stitcher Supplier. Oh, we did it, boys! Hit that rise. Okay, this could be our... This is our moment. Is this mirror match? Oh, no, they're just pitching stupid things like Arclight Phoenix. That nobody cares about. Nobody cares about... Um, let's get rid of Unbarrel Rights and Scholar, I think. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Next turn we can unbear our right scholar. Then we get back Perforos. That's not that great, right? Let's just get rid of both the scholars for now. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Gorging Vulture. Phoenix is boring. Take your nerd bird and get out of here. Okay. Is this red, red, black phoenix? 
That's fascinating. Okay. Oh, you got mask worm. That's a that's a spicy meatball. Hit him again. Nice. Okay. Is this good enough? What do we got here? Stitcher supplier, vulture, stitchers, two birds, and a perforos. So I'm pretty sure we're tormenting voice first. I, I think they're just going to kill this vulture. Shock and Skewer. Wow, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> yep, you got my bird. Okay, so one, two, three. I guess we can unbear all rights here. Take two. Is this lethal? Um. Hmm. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. We're one point away from lethal. Wow, that's really sad. Wait, it would have been lethal. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh my god, we just missed lethal. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19. Oh, I miscounted because I'm an idiot. Wow. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. We still had it, though. I, where did I get 18 from? Did I miss one of the Stitcher suppliers? Choose blockers. How many cards do I have left? 18? Alright, I'm still healthy. Perforos gives haste. Otherwise we couldn't have attacked that turn. Is there a better way to do that? Creatures you control have haste. Let's look it up right now. Text creatures have haste. Uh, type line is going to be a creature himself. And format in historic. Uh, Perforos. Garn of the Blood Flame. Zagris. Does Zagris other creatures control death touch? 
Uh, Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort is a card that, that gives creatures haste. Samet, Voice of Descent, gives your other creatures haste. Which you can also attack. Um, it's interesting because Perforos doesn't... You can't kill Perforos, right? Like, they, when Perforos comes back, it's pretty much indestructible. But it doesn't do much on its own. Samet does some sweet things, but it's also relatively... She's relatively hard to cast. I'm not sure which is better. This deck is also very, very uh, non-interactive, and you really don't care what other people are doing. Like, you just kind of have to ignore what your opponents are doing. Um... Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's put Masquerum back. We don't know what that guy's doing. Crater Hoof and two lands. Unfortunate. So I think we I think we're just pitching Scholar here. Nice, nice. Massacre Worm is a, is a dude. Again, I think we just want to pitch on Barrow Rights because we want to hit a land here. Do we have a Massacre Worm? We have a Crater Hoof and a Scholar so far. On Barrow Rights, lets us, we, get, we get to cast on Barrow Rights next turn. Which is pretty good. Okay, land is also very good there. Intertapped. No attack, because now we want to block with this Stitcher Supplier. Can you imagine if we get Rise off this? Wow, that'd be really good. We did not hit a Rise. We can unburial rights. Nothing great here, unfortunately. Mask worm. Fascinating. Seems. This guy have trample? Yes. This guy does not, so we'll block here. Sure. These draws are not the best. Um, we do have one more turn, I think. Six, five, and one. That'd be twelve. We'd go to one. I think we have to maximize our chances here. That did not maximize them. Oh, wow. That's insane. <sighs> Sigh. Well, that's probably the game. Yep, that's extremely... Wow, that was... Scavenging is the main deck. Exactly the turn you need it. Seems good. Cool. Yeah, the deck's definitely missing something. Like, I wish I'd have like a tomb. That'd be sick. I 
I mean, the Wrathland's great, but we're never getting to 10 mana or 8 mana. Like, it's just never happening. Like, we could barely get to 5 mana, so... Like, it's basically just a land that's coming into play tapped. Although... Those lands could be fine for other things. I guess you could Sphinx it, sure. We're definitely keeping this hand. This hand seems pretty decent. So I think we're just waiting. We'll just play this on turn two because we don't need to take two for that. No, because I want to play. I want, I want the possibility to play Thrill or Cathartic Reunion next turn. So. Two lands and a three. Like, it's just such bad hits. Where are my hits at? Oh, here we go. Wow. Yep. Never fails. Oh, there's a rise and a mask worm. Six. Yeah, big surprise. Just kidding, I meant ten. Yep, and that's basically game again. All right, don't know why they unbanned Burning Tree Emissary, but I'm sure it was a well thought out decision. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> Oh, six, seven, eight. You know what's great about Embercleave? Nothing. Is the answer nothing? Come on, hit an Umbarrel Rights and go to nine. Go to one. Yep, there's basically nothing we can do here to win the game. Like, we'd have to have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we block here, we take six. It's really frustrating, because if we actually had unbarrel rights and sphinx in the yard if we had one more turn to cathartic reunion here we could get back two vultures and a mask worm and a sphinx which would probably be a significant amount Whoa, MTG Alex. Jesus, that's like the most low hanging fruit there is, Christopher. Wow. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's something we're missing. I'll give you some low-hanging fruit. For real? What kind? Okay. Is there any way to search for dual face cards? 
Probably not, right? That would, that would be probably too easy, right? What if I hit modal? No, of course that wouldn't do anything. That would be way too, uh, way too, land? Is that, I mean, I guess that kind of, kind of works. Take out Fellow Passage and Planes. Land button thing, like color. What are you guys saying right now? But they're not lands, they're sorceries and instants. Right? Like, that's not gonna. Oh! What? That's weird. Why would it do that? Let's put two undo inversions in here. Malachi Rebirth is kind of interesting because, like, you can target your own Scholar and then sacrifice it to Phyrexian Tower. Then it comes back and you can do shenanigans. Return from Graveyard. Any number of creatures that each have different converted mana cost X or less. We're never being able to cast that. See, if this was discarded, it'd be great. Valakut Awakening could actually be a pretty phenomenal uh, addition. It's just a fling, right? Two onto inversions. Let's put a bright climb pathway in instead of the uh, instead of the swamp, and we also have a plane, so this is basically a swamp or a plains. It won't be able to flip these, but we do have three godless, three blood crypt, and three sacred foundry, so it doesn't really feel like that big of a deal. I wonder if Amiria's call is good enough. Like you fucking, you hit, just hit Amiria's call, you get four two four fours. Like maybe that's just better than the Ondo inversion. Hmm. And considering these are both white sources, maybe we actually instead of the bright climb pathway, maybe we want the. Uh... Eh. Huh. I mean, mountain just seems worse than this one, right? Because four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. She <laughs> was really fun playing against Flash Mill Rogues every game. Yeah, someone actually mentioned that on Twitter. They were like, "Well," or on on Facebook, they were like, "Well, hope you like playing against Mill every game." And I'm like, "Just play Yorion as your companion, then you get an extra twenty cards." It's like playing Battle of Wits, but it's more competitive. Amiria's Call may seem like the worst of the lands, but that doesn't change the fact that it's still a pretty sweet card that we can cast off of Scholar. You can also not play Yorion and run as many cards as you want. Get the hell out of here. That's crazy talk. Thank you. Grandma Boofy, seven months, huh? Well, see you later. Hey guys, oh big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Okay, so we're gonna cathartic reunion, discard perforos and massacre worm. Now we just want to hit unbarrel rights and something else. 
Okay, Scholar's a good discard as well. Yeah, just play a... Just play a 500 card deck. What problem is? Oh, now we can discard Scholar and Unburial Rites. Seems good. Okay, so what do we got here? We can get Scholar into Unbarrel Rights into Masquerum. Well, that's not terrible. Okay, that's probably just going to end the game, right? Now it's definitely going to end the game. Wow. I cannot believe you've done this. Oh, no, wait. We don't get the Unbarrel Rights. I'm a dummy. All right. Well... This is not this is not how smart people uh, behave in the in the world. Where where are my other umber rights? This is so we really just have to survive for like two turns. Is that easy? Oh man, massacre room. We should just got the massacre room. I got so greedy. There's a massacre room in here. We could have just gotten the massacre room, dealt the mate. I don't I don't know why we didn't do that. This deck is hard. Be okay, so I'll actually attribute it to the to the fact that uh, Unbarrow Rights look like it was in my hand. Can we just top deck an Unbarrow Rights? Because I feel like they're... Can you go five to this guy? I don't think so. This is, this is wild. Unbarrow Rights. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana with tower, which is kind of nice. Okay. Oh, the problem is that six mana doesn't matter if we don't actually have the Ember Rights in hand. Yeah. Good gravy. I think we just need more things like Umbero Rites. Wow. Wow, Christopher. It's very hurtful. So if we go block here, block here, we take one, two, three, four, five. We're not dead. They have no cards, actually, so... Alright. Are there more things like in Bear Rats? Not really. Not really. Pass two blockers. Five here and one here. So we take five? Sure. This is actually not terrible. Sure. Unbury your rights. I mean, I think it's rise, right? God. Biscuits. One, two, three, four, five six seven if we had another white source oh my goodness gracious uh, red and black one two three four yeah let's reunion here discard Amiria. actually discard crater hoof and blood crypt on no one burial rights huh okay you're just gonna you're just gonna treat me like we like garbage, huh? Okay. Oh wow, we hit three life there. It was pretty huge. Block, block. We take three. We're not dead yet. 
Can we just cast Massacre Worm next turn for 10? I mean, this puts us to one if they if they want to castle Embreath, but that's also good grief. I, we should have blocked the other guys. That was pretty bad. This is what we're just messing up left and right. But like, you guys are learning from these mistakes, so that's okay. Because this actually kills all three of these guys, but then they make oh they make one guy though. They make one three three. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total mana. Sure. Don't kill me. The next turn we can actually cast Amiria's Call, which is kind of funny. Fucking incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so basically that game came down to us n us miss playing where we could have Umbrella Rights to Massacre Worm instead. So, and then our opponent drew the actual fucking hot garbage mortar pod and got to kill us while we were at one. So that's a good time. Always a pleasure. Shut up and take my I'll money. I'll keep this for sure. The Imperial Senate will no longer be of any concern to us. I have just received word that the Imperial, the Emperor, has dissolved the Council permanently. The last remnants of the Old Republic have been swept away forever. I think everyone everyone knows that, though, right? <laughs> so random. Oh, man. Also, the Shallow Shallow. Thank you. Really appreciate the Donazione. Tormenting voice, let's get rid of Unburial and I guess that's all we have to get rid of, right? I think we get rid of Maskorm instead. Okay. Actually, like the one thing I'm noticing is we don't have enough ways to discard almost. Well, that's fascinating. Wow, still no land. That's pretty amazing. Um, enter tent. Could have actually paid three and played Stitcher Supplier as well. Good grief. Uh, let's get rid of Perforos and Unbarrel Rights. I don't really care about the haste. I think Crater Hoof's probably better. Okay. That seems pretty decent. Okay, this is actually this could be this could be a, a banana blowout next turn. Thank you. Sure. So 
So we do have a uh, scholar and we have a rise and we have multiple crater hoofs. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Unfortunately, we have both Prophoroses in the hand. So we probably should have kept on barrel rights. Oh, Jesus. Unbarrel rights. Get Scholar. Scholar hits. Play Rise. Um. <laughs> Scholars will be last. Actually, my crater has crater hoofs last. Oh, you want scholar first, right? I guess it doesn't matter. We were gonna scholar into perforos. Does that matter? I don't even know. See, that was pretty sweet though, and that's what we're trying to do here. I think it actually didn't matter because we had roughly one gajillion damage. Yeah, I guess we did have a lot of damage. The problem was the only creatures I could attack were the crater hoofs. So those would have to be the ones that, that dealt the gazillion damage. It makes me wish they had subtle. Why? I mean, it's fine if they have subtle because they didn't have subtle mana, I don't think. But, you know. Huh. <sighs> Two lands, three three lands, and two yeah, we're definitely keeping this bad boy. Okay. I'm gonna pass here. I think it's more important to actually get other things and I think one thing you want to do is prioritize the cards you put into the graveyard. Like proof for us and mask room are cool. attackers let's thrill here massacre room seems extremely relevant okay okay so now i think we're re re reunion for perforous and on burial rights maybe i like keeping unburial rights in hand Do you want me to add main board to the list of banned terms for this show? <laughs> I'm sorry, main board is not allowed. Um, so we're not playing anything for three, so we can definitely play this. Um, so if we cathartic reunion... Yeah, I think we're just going to tormenting voice here and get rid of only perforos. Because we definitely we're not in any rush here. Oh, see, that's great. Now we can Cathartic Reunion to get rid of both of these. And then Unburial Rights on the following turn, which is pretty... Main board and main board. Okay, that's hilarious. Oh, it's a Krenko. It's a Krenko. Okay, so we're going to Cathartic Reunion here. We got Perforos in there, right? Ooh, Scholar now? Dang. So next turn we can unbarrel rights for Massacre Worm.
McDonald's ad making me hungry. <laughs> I mean, that's a good, that's a good goal. Thank you. Oh, Kerwa with the gifted sub, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, my dude. Wait, they're not attacking with Krenko? Hmm. Fascinating. I mean, this seems just fine. Will they get two one ones? Where are they? Is my internet going down? Because that'd be cool. If you had a signature McDonald's meal, what would it be? Probably some nugs. Probably just a 10 count McNug with a. Uh, with some medium fries and barbecue sauces. This is... Mike B would be the 40 piece nug. What's going on? I want to pause it till they, till things happen. Okay, so the mask room triggers are on the stack now. Whose clock is gone? Is there a clock? I don't even know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> A McCrab sandwich? What even is that? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so they're, 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 the, the client is definitely fine and they're just taking their sweet time I mean if I have a way to get rid of these two cards in my hand that's what you wanna that's what that's where you wanna be is there a card in in historic that lets you discard a hand discard a white black red at most these colors historic ba -ba -da -ba. 41 cards huh let's do convert a mana cost three or less less than or equal to three I don't know what's going on right now guys so 23 cards now Flame of Keld could be interesting. Discard your hand as the first mode, then draw two cards. What's going on here? <laughs> this is 
this is this is quite weird. I'm looking through all the cards and let you discard. Magmatic Channeler is interesting, right? Like you just go um, activate it, discard a creature, exile the top two cards of your library, then choose one of them. So like you can you can hit like, and it does let you play the card. However, because it exiles, you could exile like your big creatures. I don't know what's going on here. Is this the uh, is this the client guys? Everywhere you look, there's a place. Of somebody who needs you. Hmm. Everywhere you look. All right. Well, that match is over. Let's uh let's try again. Liliana Walker of the Dead lets you discard cards. Maybe that's good enough. I mean, our red count should be fine. Oh, Rise and a Scholar. That seems juicy. Uh, Valica doesn't discard it, puts the cards in the bottom of the library. It was definitely a high choice if it discarded, though. Interesting. One, two, three, four. We have to do five mana here. Hmm. Nope, use this please. Black, red, thrill. What are we getting rid of here? I guess Massacre Worm? Let's get rid of Crater Hoof. We can actually cast the Massacre Worm. Oh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, there's the Umbrella Rights. Did we hit a rise too? Oh, we did. Oh, that's juicy. Is Bizarre in Historic? You know, it's. I don't think so.
So they have one red up here. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. We don't have anything that gives haste, though, which is the problem. Does that matter? Two scholars, though, I think we're just discarding a Myria. It's one, two, and then one. Uh, discard two cards. We'll discard a Myria and Massacre Worm. Submit those two. This should be bananas. Okay, first we're gonna hit Rise. Okay, I'll cast it. Let's cast that. All these guys are indestructible until my next turn. <laughs> oh, good game. <laughs> this is wild, dude. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, this is lethal. This crater hoof might be lethal by itself. Wow, crater hoof just gets to swing. For the fences. Oh boy, dude. And that was pretty good. See, that's kind of what you want to happen, right? Like, that seems... That seems okay. I'm still trying to figure out the, the the scholar placement in the stack. I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter when you resolve. I don't think it matters when you resolve scholar because you still have to put the trigger on the stack at the same point. Like, you don't get to choose what spell you're targeting. So if you mill 20 cards before the scholar tree resolves, you're not gonna, you don't get to re-choose the target because you have to choose when you put it on the stack. That's just how the stack and targeting works. If you have a second rise, then yes, it should be last, right? But if you're trying to hit a rise, then it sh then it doesn't matter. So Dennis, one of the things I would consider for the deck, which I'm not completely sure about, is Magmatic Channeler. He seems pretty decent, and it's also just another creature we can back. I do like the Amiri's Call. That was a pretty decent addition, especially because they just act as lands. Um, and it's another nice it's another nice thing to hit in, in addition to Rise. Like, if you just get Scholar into Amiri's Call, it's actually just, uh, what is that, 13 power on the board? Which is pretty sweet.
sure. You got it. A Barrier Rance is a good one next turn. So we can go Stitcher and Cathartic Reunion. That's pretty sweet. You got it. Draw your little your little cratty boy. Oh. Hmm. Come on, scholar. Scholar me one time. Crater hoof and arise. I guess you got me. God, I've drawn so many cards. Still no Scholar, unfortunately. Be dice. Okay, well, we'll play this guy then, sure. I don't think there's any way we can win this game, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, we're just gonna scoop. Like, we'd have to, like, literally draw land. Uh, like, Unbarrel Rights doesn't even do anything. We take four next turn. So we go to four. And they have, like, nine cards in their hand. A lot of times it's, it's weird. Like, you just have to draw the right configuration. We're going to play one more and see what happens. And uh, I'm really wondering if Magmatic Channeler's got a place in the deck. It might be better than... Sure. I actually don't even... No, I don't know if even I like Stitchers or Vulture. I think we want four of these guys. A reanimator too? Like the actual guard reanimate? That would be great. Zombie infestation is, and that's actually pretty interesting. No? Why isn't it? Oh, cool. I mean, I think I have enough. 813 uncommons, sure. Um, let's put two in the deck. What? No, stop crafting. So now we have to make three cuts. 
One, two, three. Now we have two, two. Let's try it like this. This is a little bit different. But being able to just discard two cards on a whim is pretty nice because we a lot of times we're feeling like these cards are stuck in our hand. Plus you get a body for your Phyrexian uh, tower. Reanimate was in Jumpstart? I, I, I don't think it's going to be in Historic, though. There's literally no way Reanimate's legal in Historic. Uh, Snapkeep. It wasn't put on a... Yeah, I'm not... Like, there's no way. I'm just thinking, like, that's a, that's a vintage cube level card. And I would be very shocked if it was in Historic. Two more rises, but another cathartic reunion, so. Another blue deck as well. Interesting. Can you counter my Gorging Vulture? Probably not. Three lands and a thrill. Like, that's just, like, the worst hits ever. Meanwhile, we draw the two rise. Come on. This is a good encounter at 100,000%. Fucking really? Jesus Christ, come on. <sighs> cool main deck spell curse. Hmm, I'm just gonna let me have it, okay. So now we get... Scholar into Rise, which literally just gets back Crater Hoof. Eh, it's not super impressive. I guess we can discard Perforos. And we could also get Scholar into 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 Amiria's Call. But if we don't have a land, yeah, we're just gonna play this under tap. That's an Umbero, right? I really don't like Perforos. I just, I feel like it's not, like, you can't attack with it. <laughs> like, I think Salmon is just better. Even if they kill Salmon, it's still a threat on the board. I mean, if they counter this, we still get another one, so. Okie dokie, you got it. I hope they tap out for something stupid. They did not. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I just don't feel like thrilling here. 
MTG Nerd go with the raid. Brittany, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. If only we could ever cast this. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Zombie infestation would have been nice on board. But alas. They had a negate and a spell pierce at the same time. I really like the Sphinx's Revelation art. I would definitely update my key with it if, uh, if it was real. It's not real, right? Like, this is literally just a... What are the odds they hit counter spell, you think? 100%? Approach of the second sun. Three, four, five, six. I'm just playing this. Just in case. Come on. They only have one blue up. Which means they probably have negate. God. I guess they don't have. Did they have two blue up? Did I not even see it? One, two, three. I guess they did. They hit Galatia Lane. Whatever. Meditate. I mean, they've had like five counter spells. One, two, three, four. Like. And now they hit another absorb, so. <sighs> Seems good. Do they just approach here? And then hope we don't. Nope. Can this Sorry. deck for a chromatic lantern? Maybe? Let's skip to the good I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> it would be interesting to just hard cast these guys, but like the problem is I, I mean like we're trying to like already Um just discard them, you know? Like, I mean, I don't know, maybe we want one more zombie infestation. Okay, yeah, we're just done here. I, I just don't feel like dealing with Teferi slash Narset slash four counter spells. Do we have, like, God, if only Boseju was legal. <laughs> Can you imagine? Let's just play a Boseju. I think Vulture is better than Supplier. I'm gonna add another Infestation. There's gotta be another Reanimate spell, right? Like, return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, Kamigawa cards are not in Historic because they would have to be on... They would actually have to be on Arena. Um, okay. Return. Creature. Graveyard. God of Pharaoh's Gift? I mean, how are we ever getting that in play? This is... the gate thing well that's a, I feel like that's a that's a totally different deck return creature graveyard battlefield those are the maybe blood for bones is better like we have with zombie infestation blood for bones might actually be playable I really just want a fourth one What about Null Priest of Oblivion? Perforos gives your creatures haste, though, which could be relevant. I don't know if it is relevant, though. Let's get rid of Perforos. What about three Null Priests? I mean, like, not only are they just good blockers... I mean, Doom Necromancer sucks. He's three mana and you also have to make him survive. I'm also not even... I don't even think he's... Oh, he is. He is legal in this format. Ooh, Jeskai Triumphs and Scarab God is fascinating. That is a fascinating concept. I think I just want to try it like this with three zombies, three Null Priest. 
Um, Magmatic Channeler is another discard outlet. Whip of Erebos? Um, I don't think so. That would be pretty good, though, because it actually does exactly what you want. Uh, it is not legal and historic, no. Yeah, that'd be sweet, though, because you really just need to get the Scholar out for one turn. <laughs> Channeler would probably exile. I mean, ideally, you're hitting, like, two drops or lands off of Channeler. The Black Mythic Artifact from Throne. Give me a name to go off of. That's hard to search for. Um, one, two... With a reunion? Yeah, that's a keeper. Cauldron. I'll just look up Cauldron. I'm sure it'll show up. Um, there's a lot of cauldrons. And actually, there's only 10 black blacks. Two less for each creature in your graveyard. So at a certain point, it probably costs four. Whenever a creature you control dies, put it on the bottom. Three and a tap. Pay. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this only anytime you... That's not bad. I could see a one of Cauldron Eternity for sure. That actually seems pretty sweet. Oh yeah, we're gonna try that out. That'll be that'll be a one of after this. Fascinating. You take Cathartic Reunion? Probably. You take Scholar? What are you taking here? What's happening, old Thoughtseize? Old... Are they taking five? That's wild. Phyrexian Tower. You got it. Uh, I, that's probably way too big brain for me. I have no idea what that did. Yeah, no, I know why it died. I don't know why they cast it. That's big brain AF right there. Thrill again. Um, probably just gonna hit one on Barrow Rights here. Wow, this is a hand. Let's play Magmatic Channeler, I guess. One, two, three, four. Oh, it is a four, four. That's pretty sweet. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, let's cathartic discard Dos Massacre Worms. Cathartic again. Discard two on Burial Rites. Well, that's a lot of lands. No, I didn't want to do that. Well, let's just attack for four here because it's a 4-4. It's four, four. Why not? Fiend Art is again is a card that requires like 10 mana. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take one, I guess. And then you can add two mana? Sure. So what can we get back? We can get back Scholar, which doesn't hit anything exciting yet. Channeler seems decent, though. Alright. Two, three, four. Channeler has been decent so far. Oh, you got it. Multiple Dread Horde Arcanists. How about we can't we pay full cost to cast for the cards? I don't know how you said that, so I'm just gonna Um Interesting. This 
So scholar can we can just scholar for like it's gotta be. Let's thrill discard a crypt. Because if we draw anything else, we can discard it with channeler, which is kind of nice. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Submit that. Uh, play Dragon Skull Summit. And Burial Rites. Scholar. And... Rise. I was like, where'd it go? I don't understand. Let's cast it. Bad company. You got it. Still take four. Okay, that's the end. Not bad. Magmatic Channeler was was doing some heavy lifting there. Let's open these packs real quick. Oh, you sharn. Um, Null Priest still seems good. Zombie Infestation seems fine. Channeler was actually friggin' great there. Alright, we'll just play it like this, I guess. Alright, we'll do one more. And we'll call it a day for this deck. Bad company. Till the day I die. Um, yep, keep it. Thrill Pitching Scholar seems fine. Okay, so now we can pitch the other two. Now we're going to draw a Magmatic Channeler. We did not do that. Did you already get the free packs in Full Art Lands with the promo code? Uh, I don't think so. Is there a promo code? Give me the sweet promo codes. I'm afraid of I'm afraid of a counter spell again. I don't think I've used that. I'm gonna save these and I'll use them after this. I think I've been hurt too many times. I think I'm just gonna play I think I'm gonna play this and pass with the rill up. And then we're gonna discard Rise of the Realmy Boys. Oh, Frank Lord melts my cold nuggety heart. That actually seems like a really good code. I wonder if that's I wonder if that'll work. Why are all these decks playing the gate main? Right? Like, come on. Joke's on you, this is the one I want you to counter. <laughs> they didn't counter it. Well, that's fascinating. So we have black, black oh, these are all equal, so. Okie dokie. Hmm. Well, presuming there's going to be a spell pierce. Uh, auto 
pay. Deal. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that is a nice hit. Null Priest. Oh, Null Priest gonna do some work. I'm excited. Thank you. I feel like Null Priest and Channel took this. In the oh, gifted a, a, a sub to Nuggets are life forever. Oh, good gravy. Actual good gravy. What do I have to do to have five mana here? Six mana, rather. Oh! No. Dang it. <laughs> I got so excited. So we can go two and then sack it. Nah, yeah, that's not going to do it. Man, Magmatic Channeler is sig is regularly a 4-4. Okay. Is it a Neoform? Are you gonna Neoform? You're gonna Neoform? You're Neoforming? They're Neoforming. Are we dead? I don't know how this deck works. I think we're dead. I have no idea what's going on, but I feel like we're dead. Yep. Wow, all we need is one more turn, and I think we actually would have done... Uh, is it possible they whiff? I have no idea. All we had to draw was we had to have a creature on the board or would have had to have yep that's pretty good I think we're dead. Yep, that's super cool. It's 12, 3, 3, 15. Block, block. Yep. Awesome. Man, that felt like we were in really good shape too, up until the point where they killed us. All right, I'm gonna do one more now because I feel like I I want to I want to win one before we go out. keep it but I'm not gonna like it I think Mel Priest and Vulture are able to keep us uh, keep us going for a little bit oh boy we do we need to discard outlet is not terrible especially with the uh, crater hub in the grave right? if we hit a actually we, if we had a white source not the worst mm -hmm. 
That's they're tapped out. Not a white source. All right. Um. Let's get rid of Scholar here. And play a land. This gives us three mana. You're being irresponsible. Well, we have five mana now. out again. One, two, three, four. So we can unbearer rights, scholar from hand, cast unbearer rights, get crater hoof back, right? That's a thing we can do. We have no way to get this in the graveyard right now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We could just we could just worm, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Two, three. Mascarum's a hell of a drug. Do not challenge a raging river. <laughs> Mascarum number two actually probably just kills them, right? Like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. <laughs> Mask worm. Oh boy. That's a hell of a card. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I would add one cauldron, because I think cauldron is probably a pretty sweet addition. Like, you don't want to cast it early, but like in the late game, you can actually cast it and still activate it in the same turn. So I think the final configuration would be... Um, I don't even have a card. I don't even have it. But... Uh, no, just put it in the deck without crafting it. And I think that's a... Decent. Pay two life for turn a creature from your guard to the battlefield. Yeah, that seems good. Um, probably cut one Null Priest because you're you're kind of doing the same thing. But um, or one Zombie Infestation, actually, because you do have a lot of a lot of discard outlets. But yeah, this would be the deck I did. Dennis, thank you so much for for letting me play it. I'm sorry it took a little longer. Um, but hopefully you got some ideas for this deck, especially with um. What's the new set? Zendikar Rising, and with the um, the the bannings. So this is this would be the most recent list.
And how many lands do we have right now? I guess I can always click on here. 20 lands, but also then two uh, Amiria's Call as well. So 22 lands, plus you have a ton of two drops that, that get to cycle and hit lands. So anyway, Dennis, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it, my dude. Hopefully you like the changes. Hopefully you'll let me know. And uh, everybody else, thanks for watching. If you guys want to send me a deck list to critique and you want to have a deck donation to support the channel, you can do so. You can email me at frank at franklapore.com. Also check out manatraders.com and you can check out nordvpn.org slash if you're looking for a great internet solution and get 68 internet security solution and get 68% off a two year subscription and one month free. So it's a great way to support the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.